nursing home grandma and strippers. All right, that's pretty outrageous. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna have the link below for the story from the New York Post. The elderly residents of the Long Island nursing home saw their shuffleboards replaced by washboard abs when they subjected to a low-rent Chippendale striptease in the facility rec room. A new lawsuit claims. That's right. This is going to law a lawsuit. It's going to go into court. The son of one of the residents, a 85-year-old Bernice Youngblood, was shocked when he showed up for a visit and found a picture of his mom stuffing dollar bills, which are supposed to be locked away in a commissary account, into a dancer's briefs. And there is a picture of it in here, which is pretty hilarious, of the actual stuffing of it. So anyway... <laughs> The image also showed several of Youngblood's fellow residents at the East Neck Nursing Center in West Babylon looking on with a mix of shock and delight as the dancers bumped the ground for their amusement. The Youngblood's family immediately expressed their outrage to the staff but were ignored according to the suit. Oh, it gets, it gets better here. Plaintiff Bernice Youngblood was placed in apprehension placed was placed in apprehension of imminent offensive physical harm as she was confused and bewildered as to why a muscular, almost nude man was approaching her and placed his body limbs over her, the suit states. Her family attorneys, John Ray and Veselin Mediv, state that in the complaint that their son, Franklin Youngblood, found the offensive photograph among her belongings during a January visit. The irate son confronted a nurse, but the staff staffer <laughs> lunged at him and tried to snatch the picture away, the, the suit says. A nurse later told another of the victim's sons that the strip show was an entertainment event. For the patients, as were done in good faith and according to the suit, hiring male strippers to perform for the defendant's nursing home patients was a serial occurrence, the, claim suit, the suit claims. Bernice Youngblood was has lived 85 years as a traditional Baptist, hard-working lady, and now she has been defiled, Ray said. The young blood's family has also asked why his mother was holding dollar bills in her hand when her cash was supposed to be kept under lock and key in a commissary account, but were there again, but, but were there again blown off, the paper says. The... The, uh, the, the people that worked there evidently didn't answer their questions or didn't care. The vile incident was done all for the perverse pleasure and entertainment of the defendant's staff. Youngblood's attorneys argue that the lacks, lacking the mental and physical capacity to protect herself. The, the facility did not immediately return um, calls for the comment. All right. Wow. What a, what a lot of mixed stuff here. Well, she's definitely old enough to do what she wants but then that does get to the question is is she you know at 85 is that particular lady or some of those people are they like coerced while some big any like I say if you, once you click on the link and take a look at the picture big you know big guys are, are doing that is it because they want you know to stuff dollar bills or they're just hoping they don't get hurt I mean I don't know but the whole the, the, the attitude of the son is hilarious it's understandable but it is hilarious she's been defiled all right, let's well, it's going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to uh, eventually start having hangouts, not just on stuff like this, but all, all kind of outrageous and crazy news, and hopefully have like a weekly roundup of outrageous news stories that we can go ahead and share live and have, having people uh, talking and hang out and discuss it. All right, take care. Until next time.